What's up, guys? It's Best of the Realm. I just wanted to let you know, because I did forget to mention it in this podcast, this show is changing from Kayfabe Kaiju to the Future Villains Podcast. We're doing that because Kayfabe is kind of associated with... Well, no, it's very much associated with wrestling. And that's the Future Heels. That's our other wrestling podcast. Super appreciative if you would listen to support that one, by the way. But this one is supposed to be about whatever we want it to be. It's supposed to be a natural conversation. Very much in the vein of a Rooster Teeth podcast or an Off Topic or Joe Rogan. Those types of shows. So... We're just changing the name to Few True Villains Podcast because it's going to incorporate myself. It's going to incorporate Brian Man. We can have Brooks on. It'll basically be Few True Heels, but we're not going to talk about wrestling. Then we can have Neoden from the gaming side. We can have Beard Gaming Entertainment. We can have my brother with his travel vlogs. We can have whoever we want. We're also going to have a one-on-one interview series that I would like to do. And Brian Man would also me do. So... That's all what's going to happen, and that's why there's this slight branding change. I know it's only one episode we did of Kayfabe Kaiju. It is the second, first, last episode of Kayfabe Kaiju, because there's also another episode that we have somewhere. It's edited, I think. Um, That is the original Future Heels episode, but then we ended up changing the name to Future Heels because we liked it more than Kayfabe Kaiju. Kayfabe Kaiju was also both of these podcasts in one, but we separated them because this is going to work better, we feel like. So, just letting you know, that's why there's a slight branding change if you notice that, and the first episode is just going to stay Kayfabe Kaiju, but going forward, it's the Future Villains Podcast. Thank you for listening, guys. Really appreciate it. This is a great episode. We got a bunch of awesome guests, people that me and Brian know personally, coming up soon so please stay tuned please subscribe let us know how you feel shoot me a message on uh, on twitter on facebook wherever let me know what you're thinking thank you guys okay are you ready um yeah i don't know i'll uh i'll figure it out as we go that's what that's what i do when we're at restaurants the waitress is like you guys ready i'm like i don't know i'll figure it out just let everyone else order. So you wanted me to start the podcast asking if you were ready, and that's what you got for me? Because <laughs> that's about <laughs> the most entertaining thing I'm probably going to come up with today. Oh, my God. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so we were just about to start a conversation about something that I hate. I don't know how you feel about it, but Facebook just lets you know that I'm nearby. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been here for two hours? Uh, a little more than, yeah. <laughs> oh. What a stupid feature. What a creep do they have you work not even across the street, you work down the road and across the highway from me. Right. And Small highway. All the time it tells me Brian is nearby. You know, I don't get that you're nearby. That's weird. I get like when I drive through um when I drive through Inverness, so I do a lot of driving for work. When I drive through Inverness I always get this certain person is always nearby. Right. When I drive into Crystal River, I'm, I know I'm always going to get this person that's nearby. And I thought I knew, I thought I turned it off or something. I don't know how to completely disable it because I thought it would be kind of cool. Because it's like, oh, hey, you know, let's meet up. You're nearby. And I think that's what it's for, but it, no one ever does that. It's only creepy to me. It is creepy. Because it happened last week when we were buying Gundams in Ocala. We were in the store together and it let me know you're nearby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> me too. Oh, there I look. Um, a wild did, Brian appears. <laughs> did we talk about that trip? Uh, to geek about? out? No. Okay, that's something. Yeah, yeah, so last week we took a trip to our buddy Jason's store, Geek Out. It's a G33K. If you're in the Ocala area, definitely check it out. It's an awesome store. Yeah, I always forget that it's with three, uh, with the threes on Facebook. He's He's... I feel like he's got the strongest, and we talked about this, he's got the strongest name out of some of the local geek stores. Yes. Because it's just kind of a generic geek store name and not something super specific. I remember talking with him years ago about what he was going to name his store, and I think that was one of them. I think it was the lead at the time, and I'm glad. He's, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. 
Yeah, I know one of the other options he had back then was o- the Otaku Hangout. Sure. And I was like, that's good, but... That is... Like, that's a good name for him. Right. Because he's definitely an otaku. <laughs> yeah. Especially after we brought up the Ghost in the Shell movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to have him on to talk about stuff. We should. We he should. would be really good for a podcast. Especially if we can get down there. Jason, oh. I'm basically asking you right now. <laughs> um, like on one of the slow days, slow yeah. points of the day especially. Like a Sunday morning or something. When he closes. Or closes, yeah. Though I don't know, I think he stays open late for certain people when they want to play games. I'm sure. Which is super awesome. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. I was impressed with the story. We have, we went to the old location, right? You went to the old location, right? No. Nope. You never went? Nope. I went in two or three times at least. Wait. No, no, no. The, the old location was oh, way further, I meant right? the old, old location. Okay, right, yes. I did go to the original location. The one that's now uh, Captain Kirk's geek something. I, I see what you're doing, but that's okay. <laughs> I think now he's not going to be on the podcast. Huh? Now he's not going to be on the podcast. Well, we're not going to promote them necessarily. I'll it's bleep just it out. A, okay, you can bleep <laughs> that out. It, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think we should censor for anything. No, I won't. <laughs> huh? Do I ever edit? Yes, I did. I edited one you thing. You did ever. edit one thing, and I don't. it didn't... It probably needed it. Yeah, it was also more of a joke. And it was more of it a joke. It ended up being a joke in the podcast, yeah. so it was pretty funny. But, yeah, anyway, I went to that location, and this is the first time going to the, the newest location. And I... I feel like the old location was just a store... Right, he had tables, right? Uh, no. Well, yeah, but they were covered in manga when I went in. This store has manga and and, and anime and Gundams and board games, but then also open board games and cards, and there's plenty of table space. Yes. One thing I really enjoyed, now that I'm thinking about it, too, um, there wasn't a super heavy emphasis on card games. Like, play area, yes. Sales area. He had plenty of them, and he had plenty of loose ones. Oh, I know he had plenty. Well, it wasn't like some other stores we've been in where that... Like that Excuse one... Excuse me, that's the, all they do. Like that one in Tampa we went to? Yes. That was... That was insane. Point. It was like, oh, yeah, you guys play Pokemon? No? Well, then get out. Yeah. <laughs> that's that really was what they were doing. <laughs> it basically, yeah. Or was it... No, it was Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, it was Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. They had, like, a giant... Which was kind of cool. A giant Yu-Gi-Oh mural that was probably 20 yes. feet wide. Oh, that was that was neat. So here's the problem. And this is coming from a guy... I've managed a board game store before. A board game slash video game store. I had a store called j c Games that I took over when it, things got rough for the owner. Because uh, I knew a lot more about managing that kind of thing. Right. Uh, managing, you know, having shelf space and product and having just empty space you make no money on. But people come in and play games who are not necessarily going to buy things. Yeah. Is, man, that's a, that is a double-edged sword where the one edge is way bigger than the other. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's definitely something you've got to manage. And it's stuff like not allowing food in your store, which is something we wrestle with and other stores are wrestled with because you try and get people to buy the food there. Right. And then people get mad and not being able to bring your own Gundams to build. It's all totally understandable, but man, does it kind of suck? Um, slightly. Yeah. I think, here's the thing. Me and you, we, we're not rich, but we have money. So when it comes to stuff like that, and you go to the store, and it's like, you have to buy your own dollar drinks. All right. Yeah, that, yeah. When, when you don't have money, that stuff sucks. Look That's that. true. Um, now, bringing your own food in. The food thing, I totally get, because if somebody brings in a pizza, and it's super greasy, and it gets everywhere, that sucks. Right. And then they don't clean it up. Yeah. Which is why I think certain stores have that rule. I know a couple people in particular that have that rule because of that. Yeah, and I mean, I don't... Show respect, people! Right. And it's, as consumers, it's our fault. 
Come we on, didn't horse. do it. Not all of ours. <laughs> we didn't do it. But it's the one. It's the it's the few bad ones that ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah. But if we didn't have the bad ones that ruined it, yeah, it'd be fine. It, there probably wouldn't be any issues. So speaking of food, we just had our lunch. <laughs> yeah. We were hoping the delivery man was a friend of ours named Caleb, but it wasn't. That's okay. Thank you, delivery person, anyways. Yep. Is this thing recording? I don't know. It is. Okay. It's just not moving because I didn't do that. Okay, now we're good. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we're hoping it was Caleb, because he, he'd be entertaining as hell to be on the podcast. Yeah, it'd be fun. It would've been fun to have him come back here. Maybe soon. To the studio. To the studio, that's yeah. right. So, hopefully soon we'll have a somewhat legit studio. Hopefully. So, yeah, uh, uh, back to the game store discussion. We should do, like, a video or something with Jason and go up there. Oh, yeah, definitely. So if he wants to do a little vlog like we did for Gundam from Japan, which is now up. We, and we also need to record in the store. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we took video in the store. No, we didn't. We just okay. wandered around and didn't even, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Totally forgot. But I did put up pictures of the store, uh, our hall, and stuff like that. Okay. Building the store. Have you seen those pictures? No, I haven't. They're really cool. Like, that place was not very nice when he got there. Okay. It looks like he totally built it out. I, I can believe it, yeah. Because you walk around there and there's little bits of like, this is Remnants. not a nice building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he somehow managed to totally mask that. Yeah. Uh, Super yeah, impressive. You, you totally, for once you walk in, you totally forget you're in a flea market. Yeah, you do. Except for that one little back corner, which he's he was converting while we were there last time. Yeah, he now has miniatures and wargaming and stuff in there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Which I think goes pretty well with Gundam. Yeah, because it's all just model building. Yeah, he's got a totally new market with also a market that would be interested in Gundam and vice versa. Right. So that's smart. Just like, um, it's like wargaming and modeling are go hand in hand, so that's why one reason I put together that the Gundam game I created. Hopefully we'll be playing that tonight. <laughs> Gundam 0017 War. Is, is that what you named it? Yeah. Why? Because it sounded very Gundam-like. <laughs> And Gundam Skirmish was taken, and Gundam Battle was taken. By the way, I had the thought, you should buy that PlayStation 4 that you got offered. Because the Gundam game that's coming yes. out? Yes! I was thinking about it. And really Jesse wants to play, um... Awkward pause. The, I want to say The Last of Us, but I don't think that's it. Oh, yes. That's, I don't think that's the game, though. Okay, but The Last of Us looks amazing. I mean, that's like, that's, um... What is that game about? The Last of Us is a game about a man and a girl. I don't think they're related. Um, but they basically surviving the uh, apocalypse. Oh, but yeah, it's not the zombie apocalypse. Game. It's like a fungus that gets into your brain and like grows out of your head and shit. Oh, okay. It, it, it was like, disgusting. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was something. The name is something similar to that, though. Um, Last Guardian. No, I th I looked at it. it. Looks it's like a storytelling game, one yeah. of those games you were just telling me about a couple weeks ago. Telltale. Yeah, where you just kind of select it, and it's a horror game. She said it scared the shit out of her. I'm not. Sure. Is it PT? PT. You can't play that anymore. Oh, is that the one we watched the video of? I don't think so. What did we watch the video of? The one where you just keep going around the house. Oh, okay. Yeah, we watched yeah. that. I think so. Oh, I, don't I know. know. I watched it, and I think we watched it. That's Jess. She's right near the room. Yeah, I'll text her. Okay, yeah, because that might draw in the little one. Oh, nope. Uh, little one has her phone. Oh. <clears throat> so ask the little one. <laughs> yeah. And she'll ask her mom. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll Google it. Yeah, I have no need for a PlayStation 4 anymore because... That's right. But that Gundam game won't. You're right. But there are Gundam... Uh, whatever it's called, Gundam Warriors or whatever on the 360, which is not backwards compatible, so we would have to play that on the 360. Boom, right there. Yeah? Boom, I don't see it. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, I'm okay. not. <laughs> I'm just pointing in that general direction. Okay. Yeah, so you get the PlayStation 4, I'll get the other Gundam games. The other Gundam games might cost me as much as the PlayStation 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which would be annoying. Um... 
But yeah, that versus game looks so good. Yeah. Especially now that I know more about Gundam, because when you showed it to me, I knew literally zero. Yeah. Um. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is it Gone Home? Gone Home. It's not a scary game. Never mind. I no, that's Gone not Home it. feels like a scary game. It's only on PlayStation Four. Yeah, it is. It's exclusive to PlayStation. So let's see. PS Four. Horror. Exclusive. Uh, yeah, you know, I always thought exclusive was spelled E-X-S. There's no S in there. Huh. Well, Until Dawn? That's it. Oh, yes. That's that game is wants. fantastic. <clears throat> I watched Jesse Cox and the Scary Game Squad play that. Amazing. Yeah, yeah that is right up her alley. She wants that. And I want Gundam Versus. There's plenty of good stuff on PlayStation. Once you get a PlayStation, maybe you'll start gaming again. I don't. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I know you don't get, like, <clears throat> super into games, but there are... Like, she likes Prototype. You like Prototype, right? She does. Infamous yeah. is a lot like Prototype, but you're yeah. a superhero. Oh, yeah. You're a very troubled superhero. Ah. You're like, you don't want your powers kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone hates you. <laughs> um, okay. If we do get the PlayStation 4, and you might not know, but is it easier to navigate than the PlayStation 3 was? I feel like. Okay. I know of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, everyone says the PlayStation 4 is better. Okay. Because, like, the, the web browser thing. I was, never liked the PlayStation 3. It was terrible. I literally owned it twice. I bought it once, didn't like it, sold it, bought it again because I thought I would want it. And yeah. sold it again because I just <laughs> don't like the PlayStation Three. Um, <clears throat> it, you can use that for like a media center, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because I know you're looking for something like that. Because that'll it, give our laptop a bit of a break. Yeah, or just stop using it all together because that thing's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, because it's not gonna last. God, we, how long have you had that laptop? Years. Five years. That's been your entertainment center system for that long, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a laptop sits next to your TV. A shitty little laptop. <laughs> it is a shitty little laptop. That we only hooked to the TV because it, it wasn't good enough to do anything else. And because it has an illegal version of Windows. Yeah, there's that. How did that end up? That wasn't you, though. That was like... Or was it you? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was five years ago. We don't remember. I don't remember. Statue uh, limitation. You missed the whole, like, upgrade to Windows 10, even if you have an illegal Yeah, Windows. I totally missed that. <laughs> But, yeah, that thing needs a rest. Yeah. Definitely. Does. It's still chugging, though. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really give us that many problems. Yeah, I think PlayStation 4, it would be... Also, your videos would end up looking better. Yeah. So that would be a thing. And, uh, yeah, the guy wants 250 for it. That's not bad. I don't know what the going rate for a PS4 is, but... 300 or more? And it comes with... De I think he said it's a Destiny Edition... Yeah, that's right. Man, you suck. And it, oh, it comes, no. I kind of want you to buy it so that you'll eventually resell it to me. <laughs> well, knowing you, you'll sell it for two fifty. <laughs> yeah. <God>. Two seventy five. <laughs> Collector value goes up. I guess. And it comes God. with Destiny and a controller. I love Destiny so much. So. Destiny 2, the beta comes out this week for... <clears throat> Bob is super pissed because the best... Destiny 2 beta comes out for us on Tuesday. Yeah. Or Wednesday. And he works, so I work all week. Yep. So I was like, why not on a Friday and have it for the weekend? It, it's uh, kind of aggravating. Yeah. He's texting me this morning, like, you're going to have to get up in the morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a morning person. Right. Yeah, what time do you get off work usually? Ten. Oh, uh, yeah, so you work, I would say that's working at night. Yeah, I oh. work usually one to ten. Yeah. All day, basically. It's not too bad. No, it's a nice shift. Yeah. Occasionally I work until 11 or 11.30. Yeah. 11.30, I think. No, I worked till midnight a couple times. But there's also, like, no one that calls in. Yeah. I That's work from fun. home doing tech support. But, like, nobody calls after 10. Unless they're crazy. Right. That's true. It's damn I would, true. I wish I could do my job from, like, 1 to 10. That'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, you deal with old people. They go to bed at 5. Yeah.
appointments before they go to bed. <laughs> you set your appointments, so you could work one to ten. You decide. Well, yeah, but I, 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 the company I work for, I only work till four, so. Yeah, they probably wouldn't care for that too much. We are, we are, we need somebody. We need someone that can that they'll work on their own schedule for the most right. part. But we just can't find anybody. But speaking of games, um... That was about to be my segue, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the... Speaking of games, uh, I was told last night to get, um, Warhammer 40k... God of War? No. Eternal Crusade? Is that it? Eternal Crusade. I don't know which one that is. I think that's the shit one. Really? Yeah. Warhammer games are shit. Um, I like almost all of them. Oh wait a minute, were you told by Lance? Yes. Okay, so this game is like Battlefield, but with Warhammer. I haven't played it yet, but it's not doing very well. Well, he's got. Um, he said he's got a gift copy. He I don't think you can give it to me. No, I don't think, but I could be wrong. It's a free game. What do you mean he has a gift copy? It's a free game. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? How does that work? Well, I don't know. What, maybe he didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> it's a gift copy of a free game. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's all—it's a free game, and I don't care for games like that. I hate games like that. Yeah. I—I I heard on the radio, and it could be wrong, um, that there there's an algorithm that runs in games like that, where if you if you buy something one time. Then it knows you will, you will buy, and it makes it to more often you have to buy things pretty much. I wouldn't be surprised. But if you never buy any items, you know it. Huh. You don't. You don't have to. Now it's a little easier. China and maybe Korea, <clears throat> they now have to tell you the likeliness of unlocking certain items. Oh. They have to show you the percentage of it. Okay. By law. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very consumer friendly. Which right. Will never happen here. No. <laughs> nope. The only thing, only app I've ever bought something in, uh, was Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I I would buy Pokeballs every once in a while. Speaking of games like that, um, Overwatch is one of those games where you buy it and you get a lot of cosmetic stuff. Um, I've been playing. Uh, uh, just came out on Xbox, Path of Exile, which is a very Diablo 2 like game. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> it was on PC. We beat it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic game. It's free to play. It's probably one we should look into because it is one that would run on your PC. Okay. Um, it, is, it is literally free to play. The only things you can buy are cosmetic. Really? Yep. That's cool. literally the only thing. And the community, because of it, love them and buy things. And what game was that again? Path of Exile. It just came out on Xbox One, and it being a game like that, I was a little bit like, I don't know, I don't know how this is going to work with a controller. Right. And it's fantastic. Oh, okay. Last time I played whatever the Assassin class is, and this time on Xbox I'm trying out Duelist. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a few different classes. There's a Tank Mage... I can't think of the actual names of it yet, most of right. these. There's like a tank mage class. And I think he mostly uses what's called totems. And the totem, you create a totem, and then you equip it with another ability, and it uses that ability. Right. So it's very much like, a, I think, like a shaman in World of Warcraft. It uses totems as abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a witch, who's a straight-up mage. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, there's a, a barbarian, I believe, who's a straight-up warrior. Right. There's a duelist who is basically a warrior, but he also uses bows. There's the assassin class that uses, like, fist weapons. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I'm leaving somebody out. I don't remember what. Well, the way this game works is it has the biggest passive skill system I've ever seen. It is a massive tree. Oh, oh yeah. there is one more class. There's a class that can do everything. All right. I can't remember what she's called. But um, the, each class has the exact same passive skill tree, but they start off with different points. 
Mm -hmm. So like the mage, the the tank mage, he kind of starts in between mage and warrior, whereas the mage starts strictly in mage. And you can actually build up every time you level up, you get skill points. You can actually build your way as a mage over to the warrior tree. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, super interesting. And then that one class that does everything, she starts right in the middle. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. it's very cool. And the way you unlock abilities is you find these little gems, and all of your gear, your swords, your your chest pieces, your helmets, your pants, your boots, everything has sockets. And you just, if it's a red socket, you equip a red ability, which I believe are mage ability. No? Blue, I think, is mage abilities. Red is warrior. Red, there's red, blue, and yellow. So if it has a red slot, you put a sl an ability in there, and as long as you have the stats, you can use it. Mm -hmm. So, like, my guy is mostly green. It's green or yellow, I'm not sure. Okay. So if I get a green gem that's, like, split shot or arrow, ice arrow or explosive arrow, I just click it into one of my sockets, and I have an ability now. Interesting. Now, if there's something linked to it, like a red socket, it'll show, like, a chain in between. You add what's called a support ability. So I have right now two greens that are socketed together. So I have my split arrow and I have a support pierce. So my split arrow is pierce. You can have huh. multiple things socketed and then you can end up with like split arrows. Interesting. Super fucking cool. <clears throat> Plus you can pick up weapons that add elements and other things to it. Mm -hmm. And armor that adds elements and other things to your abilities. Super That's simple game cool. that will you will end up very complicated. <laughs> but because you ended up complicated, doesn't seem complicated. Yeah, because you built to it. Yep. <laughs> just like the show we were just watching. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, the reason I mentioned Overwatch earlier, Overwatch is one of those games you pay for once and it's all cosmetic past that. Um, so... I don't know why, but Blizzard seems to feel like they can just do whatever they want. This is, and by the way, this is going to be a prelude to a podcast I record very soon that's going to go up after this. With me and Yoden, who you'll know from my channel. We play a lot of Overwatch and stuff like that together. We're pissed. And I want to get your perspective on this okay, you, yeah, as an you outside wanted, gamer. Yeah, you wanted the outside perspective, so... <laughs> Fucking Christ, this Jeff Kaplan guy that is the head of Overwatch is so aggravating. I'll tell you a little bit of history between me and Jeff. <laughs> okay. reason I hate him is because of the Game Awards, who Jeff Keighley has fought tooth and nail to get people to take this fucking award show seriously. Yeah. Jeff Kaplan comes out, I think it was when they won Game of the Year, or maybe Multiplayer of the Year. Jeff Kaplan comes out and says... Keep a mouth for Harambe. Do you know what this is? What is it? When Harambe died, the gorilla. Yeah. There's a thing on Reddit that was basically keep your dicks out for Harambe. Right. Just one of them stupid internet things. Yeah. Bunch of morons. Well. And then the zoo. Take. <laughs> keep your dick out for Harambe. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking dumb. Then the zoo was, you know, I remember that. They were like, please stop making Harambe jokes. We're all very affected by this. They should have done that. That's when the internet gets worse on your jokes. And then mm. after that, Jeff Kaplan does the whole keep him out for Harambe. Go fuck yourself. I don't know. He's, he's theory, what for Blizzard? He's the head of Overwatch. Eh, I, they kind of go hand in hand to me. What? Harambe <laughs> and... Dicks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, actually, uh, on Monday, okay. I, saw, I saw a whole bunch of posts that said, you know who would really have enjoyed this eclipse? Harambe. It's back. He's back. Christ. But yeah, I can... I mean, I, I kind of get it, but it's also... Is he an older guy? Older-ish. Not older -ish. old, but like 40s, I'd say. Because I could see that being like, guys, He's I that, know. He, yo, he is one of those okay, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm hip. I know what you talk about on the internet. Just like, and this isn't the point I'm trying to get to, but very recently they announced they're adding a map that's based on Junkrat and uh, Roadhog called Junkertown. Because okay. they are from Australia, basically. But Australia is now Mad Max. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. Um, I, is Australia is Mad Max, right? Yeah, basically. Okay. So they're adding a map called Junker Town, and in some of the promo art we've seen, there's a little restaurant thing that says takeout. There's a big neon pink takeout sign. Okay. Uh, and people in Australia were like, we call it takeaway. He actually issued an apology and saying, we're going to fix this. We are so sorry. A, an apology? Isn't that a bit much? Okay. I hate people who apologize. Okay. Then you hate Jeff Kaplan now. Welcome to the bandwagon, buddy. <laughs> if explaining is losing, and that's... Yes. Angel from the Monsters. Now, if he would have been like, really? All right, we'll fix it. Yeah. That, yeah. If, if it's like, okay, guys, I didn't know. I've never been to Australia, or I haven't spent that much time in Australia. Sure. We'll we couldn't be it. bothered to Google Australia takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just to issue, like, an official apology? Yep. All right. <laughs> it's a bit much. That's dumb. Now, the other thing that... I think that's also, like, a big PR thing. Like, PR people are just, like... Apologize for everything. Yes, everything. You'll never hear us apologize. No. Uh, <laughs> even for what I said earlier, I'm not apologizing. What did you say earlier? No, that's all right. We'll keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm confused. Apologize for confusing me. <laughs> never. So the most annoying thing that they usually do is dick with characters I don't need to be dicked with. Okay. And Christ, people hate it. I'm glad you said dick with characters, not the other way around. All right. Because you said The rest it, of the internet does that. And my brain was like, what? Okay, so, no, I did say it. Okay, I got it. There is a character in Overwatch named Mercy. She is a German angel. It's basically what her character is. She's not actually an angel. She has, like, mechanical wings. Rough. That she can shoot at somebody, and it links to them and it heals them. She can all switch it to damage. So she's just passive healer, passive damage. Okay. Um, if somebody's flying, she uses her wings and she, like, jumps. But it kind of makes her glide. All right. So mm. much fun to play. She also has a pistol just in case. Okay. So what your ultimate is, you know, once you do enough healing for her, mm -hmm. you get the 100% and you can use your ultimate. The ultimate for her is if there are people who have recently died around her, she says heroes never die and they come back. Okay. As you can imagine, this can turn the tide of a game. Yeah, that's... That's why she is such a key player. Not to mention she's a great healer. Okay. They decided it's too much. So, they took the ult away from her. She's now going to have an ability to heal, or resurrects one person, and it goes on cooldown. A long cooldown. And her ult is going to... Reduce the cooldowns of everything and make her slightly more powerful. Now this, to me, is taking a character that's super interesting and can definitely turn the tides of the game right. to someone who's pretty somewhat effective and is not now not as much fun. Um, is it something that's been complained about? Yes, people are pissed about. Oh wait, you mean the old one? Yes, but the whole point in Overwatch is everyone's kind of overpowered. So, like, D.Va, who's another one they dicked with a while back and people weren't happy, she is a little Korean girl inside of a mech, and her ultimate is that she launches her mech away from her and it explodes and wipes everybody out. They made this, the range of this explosion way shorter, and people still aren't happy about it. Mm -hmm. They leave it. They mess with characters all the time and just, they don't care. They don't care what people say. It's going to drive people away from their game eventually. Right. So, yeah, if people are complaining about this, absolutely. Yeah, I was wondering if they were complaining beforehand, if a lot of people thought it was too overpowered. It's a situation where it's like, you love it until it happens to you. Right. But it's also, like, it's a long cooldown. And then you basically keep it for a long time. You keep that ace in the hole. Right. You got this alt as mercy. And then it, <clears throat> there's a little icon on the bottom that will say, uh, like, four teammates nearby downed. And that's mm -hmm. when you know, hit it. You know, you got four people, you resurrect those four people. Right. And now there's a long time that you have to build up your alt again. Now, when they're resurrected, they come back full health and everything? Yes. 
And that is one thing we talked about off air with me and Neoden that maybe just bring them back to 25% or 50% or whatever. Yeah, because the game I was just working on, the Gundam tabletop game, um, uh, there was something... I have... I put an ability in the game that's similar to that, but it's... Um, actually, it's exactly like that. Um, but they're almost... Most of the abilities I added to the game have two versions. Right. A, uh, a quick version that can be used with another action, or a slow version that's your only action for your turn. And the slow action would... Um, I'm not editing this out. Oh, you're not going to edit this? No, just keep talking. Okay. That's why I was doing it really slow. I'm taking a drink of my soda, and I call it out. <laughs> I thought you were going to want to edit that out. I thought it was going to be a lot louder, too. All right, anyway. So there's that. Now I don't little, care. <laughs> there, it's set back down on the table. The magic of... Clink. Yep. <laughs> keep going. And I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, oh, no. You've got the game, two different abilities. One's quick. Yeah, the... Um, Reserves is what the ability is called. We can bring in um, downed units, and I have a the slow version where it's the only action you can take brings back a unit at full health and uh, full ammo, I believe. And then the other one, the quick version, brings them back and they're only at fifty percent health with only one weapon. See if they had something like that. I don't know. I, Overwatch, I don't know if you could do a slow to quick thing or anything like that. They can but, do whatever they want. But if there was... If it's basically, it's a thing where it's like... And it, it's happened in pro matches where it's like, it's so incredible and so much fun to watch a team come back. Right. And now we're not going to have that anymore. It's just like... That does seem pretty overpowered. Sure. That's why it takes a long time to, to cool down. and Right. How, now how also, long does a match usually last? Uh, <clears throat> I'd say 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, okay. That's a lot longer than I thought. Really, um, that's really short for most games. <laughs> One good thing about Overwatch. Um, about, how long, about how long do you think it would take to build up? Like how, About how many times in that 20, 30 minutes you think that ability would... Well, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know because no one, like, gets it and uses it. Right. They get it and keep it. Yeah. So about how many times do you think it's usually used? Like, pro Two matches. Two times? Three Two times? Two times? Three times is probably pushing it. See, I think I think that might be a little overpowered then. Then make the cooldown longer. Yeah. It's just, it's almost like we didn't know as players that it was an issue. And right. if it had been brought up, we could have been like, well, let's try this. Instead, it's like dramatic change. Right, yeah. But they could easily dramatically change it right back, too, couldn't they? They could, but they probably won't. See, that's not okay. Like, if it turns out that it's just now you she's completely what? underwhelming. I take that back. Yeah. Because Bastion got dramatically changed, the little robo guy, and they changed him right back. Okay. So, so yeah. maybe, yeah, maybe there's hope. Yeah, I mean, if it turns out to where no one is... Do you think they have a way to track how many... Who picks yes. what characters, yes. how often? Yes, without a doubt. So if they see, like, no one's picking that character anymore, they'll probably change it back. Yeah. But if it's if she's still being used... And the other thing is, and this is what's where the apology thing came from, Jeff, and I don't know about the rest of the team, Jeff very much keeps up with the forums and Reddit and right. too much so, I would say. Okay. Because there's, there's a lot of people out there that just bitch for bitching reasons. Yeah. That 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, I, they need to just, I don't know, put it on, it is on the public test server right now, I think. Okay. And hopefully people go try it and hate it. Right. That's what I'm hoping for. Because this well, is, in my opinion, not a good change. It would be like having Ryu in Street Fighter and being like, we're going to take away the Hadouken. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, yeah. No, don't do that. That would suck. It'd be very upsetting. Yeah. 
Bringing back a whole team is could be. I could see where that could be overpowered, but then again, I, I, I don't think I've well, ever played the game. That's what. Yeah, you need to. I've never played one. I show. I showed you a match. Yeah, you've shown me. It's, I've seen video. That's the one where the game. The one guy has like a chain and. Yep. The guy, right on. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Fantastic game. We'll have to get you to sit down and play it. That would be. You know what? That'd be a good series. Brian plays games he's not good at. <laughs> but oh, you mean because, Brian plays games? <laughs> yes. Kind of funny. Didn't make Colin play. So that well, was funny. <laughs> I wouldn't hate that. That that's not the worst idea we've ever had. Yeah, that'd be great. Because watching Colin play League of Legends was freaking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I would do that if we want to do a, a series of that. I, we could do that. I got plenty of games. <laughs> Yeah, Overwatch, Titanfall. You want to play Titanfall? I, don't know. I do want. Maybe to play. we'll do that tomorrow. I'll bring over Titanfall. Okay. Christ, I love that game. Oh my god, <laughs> Titanfall's the best. It seems cool. I've seen figures. The figure we saw at Walmart, you almost yes, bought. I've I'm seen it before. Lie. I like, love that figure. It's pretty cool. Wow, I forget. I forget his name now. BT something. BT, yeah. God, that's such bad BT. Yeah, it's BT. I'm pretty bad, too. What it's BT, a bunch of other stuff, but they just call him BT. Okay. And the pilot's name is Jack? Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at Jack me. Jack something. Look at me go. God, I spent the whole campaign with both those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I don't even think I've seen the cover uh, of the game before. I love it. Speaking of games I love, and I'm just going to go into this real quick because we talked a lot about games today. Mm-hmm. I bought 20XX on Steam. I, I see you playing that a lot. Recently. Oh my god, it's so good. I got what? like three videos in the pipeline to come out for it. I've already put out three or four. Yeah, there's been a couple. What is, what is it? You ever played Mega Man X? I've played some Mega Man games, yeah. Mega Man X is my favorite Mega Man, and it's just the art style. The way it plays is really good to me. Yeah. And I hate platformers, except Mega Man and Mario. Right. And Spelunky. Those are the three platformers I love. I know it's funky, yes. Uh, you will soon. It'll be one of those games you play. Okay. <laughs> That's on the list now. Uh, well, what about Sonic? I never liked Sonic. I played no. it a bunch and I can't get it. I'm a Nintendo guy. Sonic, well, first game I ever played in my entire life was uh, Castlevania. Okay, see, my first was Street Fighter. So... And it was on Nintendo, original Nintendo. We need to get you to play Castlevania, then. I have Castlevania or something in the night. See, I've, I've played that. Okay. Like, I, I never beat it, because I'm just... I was bad at those games are mega long. Okay. Did you watch Castlevania Netflix series? I did. Was it good? Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm, I, I fell asleep at the end only because I was so tired. Yeah. I came I, I got home from work one day. I think I came home sick, and I watched it. I guess the... Uh, did you watch it with subtitles? I noticed you guys have subtitles on now. I hate it. Uh, yeah. Jess put subtitles on. Just because sometimes Riley gets loud and we don't... Gotcha. I guess at the very beginning of the Netflix Castlevania series, there's a shadowy figure. Yeah. And it's Dracula, I think. Whoops. Spoilers. Uh, could or be. I don't remember. Olive card or whatever. So, anyways, the subtitles... The character shadowy. You're not supposed to know right. who it is. But if you know the series, you know who it is. The subtitles say the character's name. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I remember that now. Which is funny because earlier we were watching True Blood, yeah. which is awful as far as I can tell. Um, they also got me in on season four. Yeah, you just started picking up like halfway through season four. Yeah. Um, there was a scene where somebody was had his mouth, his, yeah, his mouth taped. We shouldn't have known what he said, but when he... Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. The subtitle. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. But it said it muffled, yeah. which was pretty funny. But yeah, yeah, I, I do, I do specifically remember that in Castlevania. Now that it was Alucard. Okay. Alucard shows up and it says Alucard and it's the word, <laughs> his lines. And I'm like, I wonder if we were supposed to know that's who that was. Nope. Okay, I, mean, I knew who it was just because I four played, episodes long, right? Yeah, it's only four episodes. So it's probably a pretty quick getting over that spoiler. Yeah. But it's like it happens like early on in the first episode, I think. But it's um, I enjoyed it. I do need to go back and rewatch it because, like I said, I was freaking watched it. But <clears throat> but uh, yeah, twenty XX is it's Mega Man X, but you now have access to Mega Man X, who is it's not Mega Man it is, 
And she can she has a charge blast. She can shoot, she can charge it up and shoot it. Okay. And then you have Ace, who has the sword, like Zero did. Right. Um, and then as you progress through the game, you can find boxes that have power-ups and stuff in them. And then every boss you fight, you can take that boss's thing. Right, yeah. Um, is it, now, is this a Mega Man game? No. Okay. It's, it's a spiritual just, successor to Mega Man X. It's just like Mega Man. Yes, it's just like Mega Man. Okay. With, there's, like, the Mega Man collections coming out. There's Mighty Number no. 9, which I bought and instantly refunded because that game was garbage. Okay. You literally, you had to shoot an enemy and they would not die until you dashed into them. Doesn't that That's, sound annoying? Yeah, that sounds <laughs> shitty. Yeah, it's annoying. It's extremely yeah. annoying. It's, it's like, I called Microsoft and was super mad, and they were like, oh, yeah, we understand. We'll refund it. They don't refund games. So I wonder if there's, uh, like, a note in my yeah. year nine. <laughs> it's like, it's, just refund people. Just yeah, give shit. just give them their damn money back. We fucked up. So there's been a void of a good Mega Man, mm -hmm. and uh, they just released Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, which has some good ones in it. And I might end up getting that. But... 20XX, you pick up the powers, you get power-ups along the way. You also collect soul chips, which unlock permanent upgrades. Because when you die, that's it. Your run is done. No lives. There is a oh, mode that has lives. Right. But this is, this is what makes it unique, is it is a roguelite. So, you, which is a genre of games where you die and that's it. Ooh. I have beaten two or three bosses and died and that was it. But every time you play it, it's different. Right. Which also adds to the difficulty. But you do unlock permanent upgrades, like a permanently upgrading your health and your power, so I, ideally you would just keep getting a bit further every time. And the boss battles aren't... The levels themselves are not long. Okay. Mega Man X has some long-ass levels. Right. Um, I would like a mode where I could just keep unlocking lives, but there isn't one. Like, mm. you get the one with three lives, and that's it, as far as I can tell. Right. So I would very much like a mode where it's like, I want to actually beat the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I said in my I want to play the mode with three, with three lives, because I want to actually get far in this game. Because mm -hmm. it's hard. It's Mega Man levels of hard. Mega Man's hard? Yes. Imagine it with one life. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, and I am. But no, <laughs> I'm going to keep playing it. I love that game. Um, it's freaking fantastic. But, so you guys got me watching True Blood today, and is that show a goddamn parody, or... <laughs> it kind of turned into weird. one. Weird! Yeah, I mean... Sell me on True Blood, go ahead. Um... That's not good. Do you like vampires? No. Um, vampires doing it? No. <laughs> well, maybe. Because that's about the gist of True Blood. Damn. Uh, the the first season's good. I really enjoyed the first season. Um, the one season four was not like good. It goes downhill, and I haven't seen the last. She's building up to the last season, so I can see it. She's seen it all. She doesn't remember any. Are you of supposed it. to be watching it right now? I remember all this. Okay. I haven't seen the. I haven't seen season seven. She didn't remember. How many seasons? Seven. Holy <laughs> shit! It was popular. I've never watched the popular. Show. Um, For the same reason, I'm never going to watch the one with the two brothers. Uh, Supernatural? Yes, because there's way too many damn There's seasons. like 89 seasons of Supernatural. Yeah, and like it's why I'm hesitant to get into Game of Thrones. And Supernatural is cool just to kind of put on. I like Super... I've turned it on before, and I enjoy that show. Yeah. I don't think I would ever really binge on it, though. Yeah. Because there's, there's other shows out there I'd rather watch than Supernatural... Um, like, I would kind of like to get into, uh, hap no. What's the other one we were just talking about, the fairy one? Oh, Once Upon a Time? Once Upon a Time looks super interesting. Also has one of my favorite actresses in it, uh, Chris Kristen Stewart? Uh, that's the chick from Twilight. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I do not like Once Upon a Time. I love the idea. Uh, the fairy tale creatures and characters and, but the... The CG work on that show, when they go into like the fairy tale land, is painful to watch. Oh, really? It is I've so only seen clips of it. it. Looks interesting. Awful. But Jennifer Morrison, because she's from House, and she's one of my favorite characters from House. Who does she play in House? 
Uh, just the, the female that's on the team. I can't think of her name right now. There's a couple of them. The, the original. From the original, his original crew. Uh, God, I can't remember her name. I don't know. The alien guy, the black guy, and her. Yeah. For some reason, I can't think of who she was. I know Jess is really in the house. Did you watch a lot of it? She made me go back and watch it, yeah. Do you watch it passively, like you watch some of the shows she likes, or do you actually watch it? Um, half and half, because there's so much of it. House is one of my favorite shows. But we've seen so, like, I think we've gone through the whole series, like, twice. House is the show that made me break my rewatching habit. Yeah. I will not rewatch things anymore. Occasionally, I will turn on a Rooster Teeth podcast or something that's old. Right. Or House or Frasier is one of my favorites to go back to. Uh, but it's only to fall asleep. I will not yeah. sit and binge on a show I already watched. Just because I want to experience new things and watch new things. I won't replay games I've already beaten a bunch of times. Right. Even Shadow of Mordor, because Shadow of War is getting ready to come out. And you can actually export your uh, your like greatest enemy from Shadow of Mordor into Shadow of War. Nice. And I started replaying it again, and I was just like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I've got... And then I went and I beat Titanfall 2, which was an amazing experience. Yeah. I could have missed out on that. So that's why I just don't rewatch things. Or replay or re-anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go... Every time I start to rewatch something... It's just because I can't remember what I wanted to watch. Yeah. Or I can't find it. Or, like, it's not on Netflix now. And that's or... typically when I end up watching House or Frasier or right. a podcast or whatever. Because I get really drawn into what I'm into at the moment. Yeah. Yes, like, you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a very one-track mind. And I try not to, but it just happens. That's why I'm on my third... Uh, watch through of season one of Iron Blooded Orphans. Third? Yeah. Damn. But passive watching. So, like when I'm building or just kind of sitting there, sure. I'll put on Iron Blooded Orphans. Really? I mean, I might watch the last three or four episodes before next season comes out, but that's right. about it. And then, luckily, someone just told me that there's a bunch of Gundam on Hulu. Did you look into it? Oh, yeah. I started, um... English? Yes. Sweet. Uh, I, I, I'm going to butcher the name because all the names are so... Are they just like Gundam 00 and Gundam whatever? Is Build, Build Fighters on there? No, I don't think Build Fighters was on there. Um, I started watching Mobile Suit Gundam, the 08th MS Team. Weird. Okay, I've never heard of that one. That one is... Is it's set in the Universal Century timeline, and it's uh, it's it seems like the main setting is going to be on Earth, very like Vietnam, in the forest, huh. kind of real guerrilla warfare. Okay. With mobile suits, um, I can never remember what the Federations are called. It's the GM mobile suits. Not Zaku's. No, the. That, that's for the Xeon. The Xeon okay. have their Zakus, and then they just have their regular, their standard mobile suits. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like, guerrilla warfare in oh, the wow. jungle. This is this a movie or a series? Series. Okay. I think it's a fairly short one. Okay. I'm not 100%. But I watched two episodes intently last night. I really enjoyed it. So I can't wait to continue watching that. And then there's also Gundam 00 and Gundam Seed. Gundam Seed is supposed to be the remake, right? I no. don't know. No. <laughs> Gundam Seed is an old one. Never mind. And then I, th there's, I think there's one other one as well. Uh, I think it's Gundam Wing. There might be Gundam Seed HD or something. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I'm not I sure. know when I mentioned Gundam Seed to Neoden, he was like, holy shit, that's old. I watched that one. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, and this one's old too. Like I can, but even the new, even the new Gundam series, not Iron Blood Orphans though. Right. Um, like Gundam Unicorn. Definitely not Build Fighters. 
Bill Fighters feels very new. Right. But when you watch Gundam Unicorn, like, the characters look like the 70s characters. Yeah. It throws okay. me off a little bit. But I, I also... I need to intently watch Gundam Unicorn because I, I found all six of the... And they're an hour long each. Damn. <clears throat> Is that it? Yeah, I think okay. it's just those six... And, and if it's uh, as good as, uh, what was the movie? December Sky? Yeah, Thunderbolt oh, December God, Sky. Oh, God, that was so good. That I've watched three times as well. See, that was too weird. The it first time really I watched neat, it, but I was like, this is kind of weird. I don't know if I get it. And it was when I was really first getting back into it. So I was like, all right, this is very anime. Yes. So we're not big anime fans to begin with, really. I'm definitely not. There's a couple I like. I'm but. very selective about my anime. I'm like, it's like, this is really, this is pretty anime. And by the end of it, I was like, you yeah, know, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And I watched it again. Um, and I was like, it was real intently. Cause I was like, I just want to hear the music again. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that was really cool. And I and watched that, it a third time. I may end up putting that on in the background while I'm building uh, Gundams. Because... We both just put in a huge order for Gundams. Yeah. <laughs> loot, loot Crate had the Loot Vault thing, and the daily special was, uh, yours were $7? No, was no, that... I got mine for four fifty. dollars oh, I thought somebody said $7. They were 7 Okay. <clears throat> and then when you, you said you went on and they were four fifty. Right. And I went and I got them while they were four fifty. And a couple days ago, I went back up, and, uh, they were back to 7 and I went back last night, I think, because I, I think I was going to order a couple more. Mm -hmm. And they were back up to 14 and some change. Which is pretty much the standard price for those. Uh, yeah. For yeah. the most part, 14 to, to 20. Yeah. But uh, they are the Iron Blood Orphans. It's Grey's Commander slash Soldier or whatever. Uh, Man Rhodey, the, the original Gushion. Um... Uh, the Schwarber, whatever. There's a few different ones, mostly grazes. But it's, yeah. uh, you're going to get one of seven, right. is what it says, and you might get duplicates. And I think three of them were different versions of the grays. Yeah, they're different so. colorations and different weapon sets. Yeah. So that's why I was totally okay with that. Yeah. I just want Man Rody. That would make me happy. I hope I get one, too. I want that doofy-ass little Gushion. <laughs> yeah. Those are the little frog-looking ones, right? Yes. Yeah, I kind of want one. I love those. I love the massive hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that uh, that one of those was piloted by that weird, uh, weird-looking guy. Yes, with the long, weird tongue. Yeah. Hammer. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's him. Now, is he... Is he... German or is I'm j am I just imagining him being German? He wasn't. He was like ah, yeah. like very anime villain, right? Okay, so he's not specifically no German. Like, I'm just imagining him as I guess. Okay, all right. No particular reason. Uh, I don't know. Just something no, about like the, space pirates. The the blonde hair and like the spiked mm -hmm. dog collar and just the way he seemed was anime German. <laughs> Hey, we do a we do a wrestling podcast. Wrestling's all stereotypes. Yes, time. that's right. Which is called the Future Heels Podcast. You should look it up. It's on Future Villains. Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> Plugging ourselves. Uh, I plug myself every night. Because uh, <laughs> I stream almost well, every night. <laughs> well, that's a uh, that's a whole different podcast, and I'm not going to be on it. <laughs> you watch? Oh, is it storming outside? It is storm. We get we oh, we're boy. supposed to have a pretty bad storm come in. Looks like I'm staying here. Uh, I don't know if we're. Oh, we might, uh, I still kind of want to leave. Okay, well, we'll, we'll finish this we'll pretty soon. Out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, you watched Death Note. Yes, I did. The Netflix series, the live-action Netflix series. Movie. Movie. What? Yes. It's a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it's an hour and 40 minutes long. Now, what I know is people don't like it. Yeah, that's what I've seen today. Because I guess it came out either today or last night. Hey, it might have been a couple days ago. Well, uh, yeah, but I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people don't like it. Um, <clears throat> well, I enjoyed it. And this is coming from someone who doesn't like anime, right. and you've definitely never watched or read Death Note. Right. I like it because, probably because I've seen the anime. Yeah. Or any of the other movies, because I do know there were live-action Japanese movies. Um, back when I worked at 
Wendy's. There was a guy I worked with. in the anime either, but he was like, you need to watch Death Note. It's, it's been so around good. that long? It's been a long, around for a long time. I thought Death Note was a recent thing. No, I think it was around when I was in high school. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure it was when I was in high See, school. See, these things, they get to me way later. Yeah. <laughs> like Gundam. Yep. That was around 79. <laughs> That's true. You're right. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably... Because it's not too long and pretty interesting... I might watch it again. Um, Me and Kimberly are definitely going to watch it. I know she wants to. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I liked it. I also really, really enjoyed uh, Ghost in the Shell. Once again, me too. Because I, I had not seen the anime. Did or we anything. talk about that last podcast? I think we have talked about it. Okay, because God, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I watched all the series. I think I've watched all the movies. And that was one of those things where it started off, I didn't like it, and then once I realized all the little things they were doing to a nod at the anime, kind of loved right. it. Yep, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and it's just a great sci-fi movie. Yeah, if anything else. It's a Blade Runner movie. I need to watch Blade Runner. You haven't seen it? I started watching it a long time ago, fell asleep, and never started watching it again. I think it's a little beyond our time, actually. It kind of is. Uh, I love Harrison Ford. Yeah, I don't remember what year it came out. But, uh, yeah, that movie does look fantastic. Yeah. I, I, I love the original Blade Runner, so... Because I've gone, I've gone back and rewatched it recently. Yeah. And, yeah. We might have sat down and watched that and, and talked about that on a podcast. That would be a good one, because we're both sci-fi guys. Yeah. They will have a whole sci-fi podcast. That would be a good one to have Yoden on. Because he is such a sci-fi guy. And he is super in Star Wars. So am nice. I. <laughs> I, think, I think you are looking around at all the collectibles you have here. Well, as soon as you said you are too, the first thing I thought was R2-D2. So I would imagine <laughs> yes, yes I am. Yeah, but yep, if you I made around, that joke on purpose. <laughs> Uh, there is my, uh, Kylo Ren costume, and the helmet is up behind you. you point out all these things people can't see. I've got, <laughs> there's three Millennium Falcons on that shelf alone. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can No, they can't! <laughs> <laughs> I will um, answer that for you, my friend. Well, I'm glad somebody knows. Um, Star Wars throughout this entire room. Throughout this house! Throughout this house, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You um, build things, and you need to start building things in videos. Yeah, we'll figure out how to do that. Um, I've got a whole bunch of Star Wars models back there behind you. Well, that's another thing I want to get into one day is building those. Whoever makes Gundam, they sell the Star Wars models. Yes. God, those look fun. I think you don't just... have to paint them or nothing. Yeah, but the interest, the funny thing about the Star Wars models is most of them, once you put them together, they're the old ones were. I mean, everything's gray. So yeah. Like, I, I did Plus, the ATST and I was like, well, I guess I'm done. <laughs> well, it's like the X-Wing, the miniatures game that I used yeah. to play, that we used to play. It's, it's the same way, you don't have to paint them. Yeah, that's cool. But I'm thinking about selling mine, because I really just wanted them for the ships. I didn't really want to play the See, game See, I think you should keep them, because I'm going to keep them. And, and I'm going to have them on a shelf one day, because they're but, really cool. But Hot Wheels makes a little bit bigger ships. A little bit, not much. And they're, they look just as cool, they're just a little bigger. And they're metal, they're not plastic. I mean, you can't get all the ships that you can get in X-Wing, because they got a bunch of, like, extended universe stuff. They do. That's, that's one not... reason why I'm keeping mine, because, uh, Christ. What's his face of ship? Dash, Dash Rendar, Rendar. Yeah. yes. I have been on Dash Rendar's ship. What? Yeah. Okay, Explain. When they do uh, Star Wars Celebration, uh -huh. the, uh, I think the 501st Garrison from Berlin. Right. Uh, they have life-size sets that they've built, and it look, it actually looks a lot, it looks just like the Millennium Falcon set. Yeah, it's, it's but, the same uh, class of ship. Right, but it's actually, if you read their, their uh, like, papers and stuff, mm -hmm. what they have set up around it. It's actually Dash Rindar's ship. I mean, it looks just like the Millennium Falcon. Everyone's probably like, oh, it's a Millennium Falcon ship. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. 
It is the Outrider. It's a YT2400. And I can never remember if it's the Outrider or Outrigger. That's why I never said that. That's why I didn't say the name. So it's the Outrider. And the Millennium Falcon is not... Oh, it's a YT1300. Okay. So I wonder which one... I, I guess Dashes is probably... Up, if it's the probably no. remember. Well, because I know uh, the Millennium Falcon has been around since at least episode one. Right. It's in episode And one. Dash and Hunter are both rivals. Right. I just saw an upsetting article that Dash Rendar might not be canon. May never become canon. Bullshit. Which is also kind of a stupid... Ca- Never mind. I'm not <laughs> upset by it. It's a stupid article. Yeah. And like why? What, just because what, it hasn't happened yet? Right. What site was it on? I don't even know. Bullshitarticles.com? <laughs> yeah. I hate stuff like that. It's like, you're probably never going to get this thing unless the people decide to. It's like, okay. People yeah, well, decide to. <laughs> yeah, they're, we're not going to get anything unless they decide to. So We can say for sure we're not going to get for a long time is like an X-Men Avengers crossover. Because I think Fox is never going to do that. Right. I think. I would love to see uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. Yeah. And it kind of makes sense now, because they're in two different companies. Yeah. It would be definitely a versus thing. Yeah. That would be cool. Yes, it would. It will never <laughs> happen. <laughs> yeah. From bullshitjacobsays.com. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think that's pretty much the show. Yeah. You got anything else? Um, I probably did, but I don't have a list or anything, so... Uh, we need to start good. doing that. I should take notes and stuff. I did just get a notebook to carry around with me. Okay. Because I've been you know doing the game need? design thing, so... What? Just so I can take oh, notes Oh, not game video design. game design, tabletop game design. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm going to start working on another one, actually, cool. that I haven't told you about yet. That game, by the way, is on futurevillains.com. Yes. You find it. It's in Brian's section. It's also probably on the front page still. Uh, yeah, that's a Gundam tabletop game. You could use really any any mechs, any you know, Zoids, anything like that. It's kind of an open source thing. You can change rules. Oh, to. yeah, hundred percent. Definitely write me if you come up with any changes or any issues. Um, what What's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, best way. Probably Instagram, Brian1138. You can also send me a message on Future Villains Facebook. Yeah. Get, I don't, well, you're an admin on there, so yeah. Yeah, You'll or, see it as well. or yeah, the Future Feel, that Yeah, Facebook uh, message, actually, is the best. You can send us an email, futurevillainsinfo at gmail.com as well. Yeah, it'll, it'll get, get to, get to them. Yeah. And, um, yeah, any fixes, any issues that you run into... Uh, we will hopefully be play testing it in, a, in a, about an hour or so uh, for the first time. But I was confident enough to post it and uh, it looks solid. It play testing. Um, There's going to be things the more people play though. It's just oh, yeah. so much testing. And um, I will. I'm going to finish because it's it's like ninety percent done. Um, but I'm going to finish and rewrite a. Pokemon RPG that I also created. Um, oh, right. Was that finished? Or you said you're going to finish it. It's it, The game itself is pretty finished. I mean, there's still tweaks to be made. But I, I did not write all of the rules. There were some rules, because I wanted to limit it to one just a single page of rules and then one page for a character sheet. And then just the other rules I remembered. So all the rules I just remembered and told the players, I have to write down. Right. And I need to flesh out a couple more rules. But other than that, I'll and make it a few more pages long. The Gundam game is more of a war game, right? Yes. but Whereas it could, Pokemon is an RPG. Pokemon kind of is an RPG. The Gundam game, though, I made a tabletop war game, like Warhammer. But I also um, added a, a one rule in there that kind of makes it like you could play it like an RPG as well. Really? Um, yes. Basically... You, the players agree on a points cost, and you okay. can build one unit with that cost, or you can build a couple units with that cost, and your points go into your health, they go into your armor, they go into your speed, uh, a couple other things, and then whatever whatever points are left over, you use to buy your weapons and your abilities and okay. your shields and everything. Um, your final points cost 
is divided by 100, and that gives you your CR, your challenge rating. And that's also on the character sheet. But when you lose, the person who beats you, um, that challenge rating, uh, that's what they gain in experience. Okay, that makes and sense. And that exper- those experience points can be spent on upgrading your shields, upgrading your abilities, buying cool. new weapons. So that way it also kind of works like an RPG as well, if you wanted to play it that way. So it's a very open-ended game. Very cool. Yeah, I'm excited I, to play it. Yeah, and I think it's going to play well. Hopefully um, we'll get to play some of this Planeswalkers game too. Tagging or yeah. Blood Rage or yeah, we got a bunch of games to take over there. There's there's a bunch of games that needs to be played. But getting together with the nerd friends, yep. nerd cave, and I haven't been to it in a long ass time. Me either. I hope I remember how to get there. I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I kind of know. Yeah, uh, but they were talking about the giant table that they want to fill fill with minis. So they've been talking about that forever. Yeah. Hopefully. I am not promising this because we've recorded a podcast there before. Hopefully, we record a podcast. Oh, are you going to bring your stuff? Yes. I'm, I would not. But okay, we could. Why? What's wrong with tonight? I don't, I'm not saying we can't. Tonight's the same as any other fucking night. <laughs> it's going to be chaos. We'll see what happens. Yeah. If we can whip them into shape. What? Which? Warn Lance beforehand. He'll probably start whipping them into shape now. I'm doing it right now. Okay. <laughs> Because this is our only opportunity to get Lance on. I talked to him last night. Yeah? He does legitimately want to come on the show. Oh, I would love that. So. He's been talked about on the future heels yeah. too much. Now he's on our... <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind, I hate him. Don't put him on. <laughs> <laughs> so, this has been the Few True Villains Podcast. Thank you guys for joining us for episode two. Uh... Keep listening. We're, this podcast is just going to keep getting better. I'm going to start the one-on-one interview series soon. Uh, I'm still doing videos over at Best in the Realm on YouTube and Twitch. So check me out over there. Check me out on Twitter, at Best in the Realm. Uh, we're on Facebook, Future Villains. That's where you can find this podcast, the Future Heals podcast. You can also find them on our YouTube, Future Villains. You can find everything on FewTrueVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find Brian at... On Twitter, at Brian25. Instagram, Brian1138. You can find my YouTube just going through the Future Villains website. Um, Yeah, if you need to contact me for any updates to my game or anything, uh, the Future... Heels, uh, what's the email? Future address? Villains Facebook. Shoot me a message on yeah. there. Send, yeah. send an email on futurevillainsinfo at gmail dot, excuse me, at gmail dot com. Uh, send an email to best of the realm at gmail dot com. There's lots of ways to get a hold of us. Yeah. Send them a DM, or not a DM, a thing on Twitter. Say at, what is it, Brian25? Yeah, Brian25. You're a dumbass. Your game's broken. Here's why. Yeah. Or, uh, Quote it just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, get, get at me on Instagram too follow my Instagram to see all the weird hobbies that I do too I think that's pretty I think my Instagram is pretty uh, eclectic we gotta start more Instagram stuff I have a lot starting I, it right now I use Instagram <laughs> a lot I'm taking a uh, that's a selfie yeah I don't want to take that I don't need a selfie up there I'm taking a picture of this setup just so you know this table is a wreck right now it's okay they'll see <laughs> you are not happy about that picture my no I don't mind I mean I got spray paints out I've got figures on the tons table tons of notebooks tons of tape because Ton, I was digging I, I was digging for my dice so I could play the game yeah so this is just to be a picture yeah it is other than the um uh like a uh not an end table uh, oh, wow. Why did I forget what they were called, too? Uh, TV trays. TV trays that we use for the living room. Yeah. <laughs> that's our other set. That's when, our, <laughs> that's when the living room's free and we get to sit in there air conditioning. Yeah. Well, this isn't bad. The fan's been nice. We really should open the floor. garage door for a little bit. We're done. Why? <laughs> well, I'm saying we should have. Should have. We'll just start breaking. Because I did it the other day and it cooled down almost immediately ah, in here. Okay. So thank you for listening, guys. I don't know why we let this outro go on for so long. I don't know. You want to keep listening to us? No, let's stop. All right.